down here guys. Ooh, that's some hard going. That's a 100 litre um, army duffel bag on wheels. I put it on a trolley. So I've uh, done a lot of road walking and, and pavement walking. Little tracks and country lanes to get here tonight. So I um, thought I'd put it on wheels, make it a little bit easier. I've used a bit of webbing. I've just pulled it behind me most of the time on my belt. Obviously I've got, once I'm at the woods, I've got to carry it through the woods, so, yeah. Not the easiest thing to do when you've got trees down in your way, where your normal track is and there's this fallen tree across it, or five fallen trees and you've got to circumnavigate around them to get back onto your track. With that thing, not, uh, not easy. Anyway, we're here. It's, uh, well, I started off on Christmas Eve and it's now Christmas Day, early hours of the morning. Um, I think we're about 20 past one, something like that. So yeah, we're here tonight, or this morning, I'm going to class it as tonight, because uh, yeah, I need to rest. Uh, so we're here for Christmas Day, Christmas Day night, and I'll be shooting back on Boxing Day. Alright guys, I've literally just thrown everything in, uh, as you can see I've got the important stuff and the radio, um, that's that big kit bag. So there's the bed, Jury 2 sleeping bag as always, in safe inflating mat, self inflating mat should I say. Um, that's the Magic Carpet, DD Magic Carpet XL, just draped over the end because I think that's where, just in the foot end is where it's dripping. So I've got my haversack down there with some bushcraft gear in, my hat, my rope, a few spiders for friends. Oh. Can you see me guys? I think if I, my head's below that, I think you can see me just about. Right, let's not uh, mess about here. It was actually quite hard work getting that big, big bag through uh, through the woods. Uh, cheers, Dave, for the uh, for the bottle. I'm not going to drink it all tonight. I'm just going to have a, a couple of glugs out of it. Um, poor audio at the moment, guys. Well, not poor audio, but not the best. As you can see, the fluffy mouse is back just here. So um, we're going to test out uh, this new crap phone that I've got that doesn't do anything uh, it does say I've got like when I installed the app that I used to um, shut up when I installed the app that I use uh, on the on the phone for the audio side of things on the on these videos it did say I've got I've got five hours worth of uh, audio uh, that I can record I very much doubt that very much doubt that um, it takes its time doing everything don't even ask it to open two things at once you'll be there all week so yeah I'm still struggling with the phone I've got one it's brand new it's a cheap Chinese copy of something I don't know um, it's not it's certainly not uh, something they did detonate a nuclear bomb with let's put it that way right let's have a let's have a drink Is that rain no. Yeah, so it's uh, still my Christmas Eve, that's what I'm classing it as, because I haven't been to bed yet. I haven't been sleeping too good recently, I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's because of the shifts at work or, or what, but I'm finding that I'm getting home from work in the evening. Well, at night time. And then, ping, I'm wide awake. And, you know, I'm just trying to get my head down at 7 o'clock in the morning and stuff like that. It's just crazy. So I'm hoping... Being out in the wild again is just going to reset me, I hope. It should do, but this, I tell you what, this feels so comfortable now. There's a inflatable mat in here. Oh, yeah. I'll get used to this. I could live here. Oh. Oh. I never do bring a pillow, though, do I? I should start. I have actually brought an extra pair of socks. Because I didn't, 
well I've checked the weather obviously and uh, it did say that it wasn't going to rain on Christmas Day but can we believe them is the thing it's, it said it was going to be mild today but it rained where I am so I uh, don't know what all that's oh my back I tell you this is so nice oh anyway by the time this video goes out it'll be uh, it'll be after Christmas anyway I'm gonna make it kind of a Christmassy kind of video I'm not actually going to do anything Christmassy in it but um, I've, I've got uh, I've got a Christmas tree I'll show you that uh, show you that tomorrow I've um, got plenty of food uh, there's loads of food um, like I say I'm gonna do something a bit different that, uh, that I've not really tried before but uh, you never know it might come off and uh, yeah so I'm just going to kick back guys, uh, I'm going to have a couple of drinks, a bit of a smoke and then uh, I'll bring you back in the morning. Good morning everybody and a fine Christmas morning to you all. Um, I've got blue skies in one direction and I've got overcast in, uh, in that direction. I'm not looking too great over there to be honest with you. Um, so I'm going to get the tarp up. Like I said on uh, the uh, two night camp I did, I've actually bought a purpose tarp for over the uh, over the fire pit be having a fire later on um, yeah so uh, we need to get cracking really um, we've got the tarp to put up we've got some uh, some wood to process now last time I was here I did store some wood in the in the shelter and I'm going to be using uh, a few of the branches off the bed as well um, because I've got big ideas this place is going to change but you'll have to stay tuned to see what happens with this camp because this is going I've got another idea right let's stop uh, stop waffling and get on with the video
that's uh, that's my pre one. Might as well turn Christmas lights on. Well, it is Christmas Day. Right, so I'm just uh, getting ready to prepare prepare my meal. I'm going to have uh, a stew. Got some uh, parsnip, onion, mushrooms. Uh, carrots and liver, quite a lot of everything to be honest with you, too much, far too much for me so I'll probably be taking some of this back home with me. Um, if you're going to use your bush knife, to uh, bushcraft knife to prepare meals with, you can always just give it a wipe with uh, antiseptic wipes, because obviously you've seen me processing wood as well. Just chuck that on there and eventually it'll burn. Right, I'm just going to get myself set up, how's my brew doing? Right, I'm going to make me brew and then uh, bring you back in a minute, folks. Right, guys. So, like I said, always uh, sterilise your knife, pardon me. So, we'll just give it a, a quick sharpen. Right, okay, what am I doing first? Uh, let's do the parsnips first. Like I say, I brought, brought far too many. I've got pine pitch all over me. So let's... Uh, we want it fairly chunky. This ain't gonna work, is it? Any waste? Just wing it. It's biodegradable. There's one of my potatoes rolling off. great this time of year because uh, all the veg is dead cheap. I think I got parsnips, carrots and uh, potatoes, bag of each, for uh, 19p at Tesco. Can't beat it can you? Right what's next? Carrots. As you can see I am peeling everything. Bugger that. What do you think of my lights? Good, aren't they? Not the best knife to be peeling spuds with. In fact, I can just chuck everything in there. That could be my compost heap. I have got a small knife, I just can't be bothered going getting it. Right, this next bit I'm going to put a glove on for. Because we're dealing with the meat. Again, I've probably got too much here. This is, uh, what is it? Pork liver. I love liver, some people don't, but I've uh, got to admit, I'm a fan of it. So, because we're dealing with raw meat, sterilise the knife again afterwards. You don't have to use wipes, you can always use uh, the fire to uh, sterilise with. And we're just going to uh, whack it on this plate. Right, so I'm just doing the liver. It's not the best quality in the world. 
uh, like I say you can sterilize your knife afterwards don't have to use wipes you can use fire or boiling water to sterilize your knife depends on what next tax task you're gonna set it um, I have seen better quality bloody um, liver than this I must admit so yeah again I've got far too much of this should have actually uh, just um, vacuum sealed a bit of it at home so yeah I've not been uh, not been drinking guys today I had a bottle of wine last night well I've not drunk today because obviously I'm dealing with axes knives that kind of thing so tomorrow I'll be having a few with my mates a few nibbles Alright, that's taken nearly a litre of water, that. I'm going to be stuffed tonight, aren't I? Uh, salt and pepper I've got. And uh, we've got some gravy granules to thicken it up with later on. So, a little bit of salt and pepper. few mixed herbs oh yes this is going to be lovely what else have I got in there brewing up tattle don't need any of that right it's time to get it on the flames because every time you disturb this kind of fire Ash goes everywhere. So let's see if we can sort this out a little bit. Because we need to get the uh, need to get the grate on. Levelish is as level as we can get it. Beautiful. Look at that. Hey, you'd think I was a professional, wouldn't you? Great right here. Then we're just going to whack that on there like that. I think I'll pop the handles in. Whew. Face full of smoke then. It's always nice to do a bit of uh, maintenance on your equipment when you're outdoors. Whiles away a few uh, few hours. So what we've got in here is a bit of rag, some honing oil, and a Lansky axe puck. So two colours. Don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but the darker one is the uh, harsher grit, and the light grey, the light grey one <coughs> can't speak. The light grey side is the uh, the fine grit. So we just uh, basically put a little bit of uh, honing oil on it, it will absorb it. I've known people to use um, olive oil, that kind of thing. And then all we do is we get the axe. I did say I was going to take this collar off, didn't I, on one of my videos. <coughs> so all I'm doing is... Now, <coughs> what I do is do it a few times this way, on this side, turn the axe over, do exactly the same thing on the other side, try and maintain your angles, maintain them the same degrees, and that's already kind of put half a decent edge on it, and that's, that's using the, uh, the, the coarse side of the axe puck. Go as fast or as slow as you want.
you're always going to get it a little bit blunter at this tip and this tip but uh, in the middle is where you want it to cut and the rag's just to wipe any swarf off Okay, so this is uh, so this is just a a little pouch that I made for my axe maintenance field kit. So I've got the puck obviously and the bit of rag, the honing oil, the honing oil in there. So it's just a bit of leather off an old sofa, sewed it up the side, riveted it, a little bit of deer antler to finish it off. Does the job. Right, let's have a look how this stew's doing. It was boiling over a minute ago. Alright guys, put a bit of gravy in here now. Give that a mix through. Oh there's loads here. I'm not going to be able to eat all this. Look at that, sticking it up straight away. Right. Just gonna let it cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna tuck him. Let's flip it around. Oh, that was a bit hot. I'm lashing my tea now. Right, so I said uh, I'd show you my Christmas tree, and uh, here it is. Well, here they are, should I say. I've got one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. 
well, I think I've got about, I don't know, a few thousand of them. guys well uh, that's the day done I'm gonna uh, tidy up some of this mess that's in here uh, the fire just behind the camera is um, it's nearly out now so while I'm while I'm messing about here for the next half an hour uh, maybe to an hour I'll keep me on the fire and make sure it uh, goes down to embers properly um, with the winds picked up a little bit I'm not sure if we're gonna get any rain forecast tonight so uh, got the magic carpet over the sleeping bag just in case it decides to leak again. Right, so um, that's it, guys. I'll uh, I'll see you all in the morning.
Good morning everybody. Um, it's a bit, a bit of a wet and windy one this morning. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't want to get out of bed. I was that, uh, that warm and that cosy last night and this morning. I could hear the rain on the tarp and I thought, nah, I'm not getting up yet. Anyway, I have to get up. I have to make a move. Uh, it's Boxing Day today, so like I said, like I say, I'll be uh, having a few drinks and a few nibbles today. You can hear the, uh, obviously you can hear the, um, the rain on the tarp. Um, it's been a really nice, enjoyable camp. The fire was great. I mean, I set it going at three o'clock yesterday. Kept it burning up till about half eleven last night. So that was that was really nice. And there wasn't a breath of wind last night. It was really, really nice weather. Um, can't say that much for the uh, weather today. But yeah, uh, all all packed up, all tidied up. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, if you've not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up and leave some comments and all that jazz. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.